Hello Bear fans, welcome to Andy's Bird Reviews. It is Fun Friday, Fun Friday, Fun Friday. That's right, it is Fun Friday again. They are coming around quicker and quicker these Fridays out, I can't believe it. Anyway, Friday is my gateway to the weekend. Um, it's the day of the week where I like to start the beers off with a, something a bit different. Sometimes something a bit special, sometimes something people think I might not like to drink. Um, this one, this one uh, beer has been um, suggested to me by Tegan on our marketing team, uh, our marketing exec, uh, because she liked the label. And the beer is a cider. This is a uh, Knight's cider. So this is uh, Aston Manor who make this. This beer, this beer, this cider is proper, proper doing my head in. Um, I just can't get my head around this one. This one. You probably see these in uh, the cheap shops and in uh, you probably see nights in cheap shops and uh, little news agents and that sort of thing. In the it's one of those ones is the, the black cans uh, called nights and the ones with the black cans five hundred mil, same as this one. Um, is eight point four percent, same as this one. So I don't know the difference. I mean that I think the black cans use the word premium on it and this says well this. This is a premium cider, it's the vintage Hereford cider. This has been out for years. But just as my head in the same, uh, potentially the same brand can have the cheap um, trap juice um, beers and also something in the supermarket that looks like a premium beer. I got this from Tesco's paid I'm not sure, I can't remember now, one pound something for it, one pound there for it. Or maybe a bit wrong that actually. I'll put it up, I'll figure it out, if, I'll, I'll put it up. It might be two pound 85, something like that anyway. I, I will confirm that, I'll put it up. Um, As the matter, do a lot of um, ciders, but not particularly good ciders as well. So Frosty Jacks is one of their brands. So. Again, it it's does, does my head in how they can go from something like a Frosty Jack to something that is, well, sort of good ha apple smell of that. Something to call itself a vintage Herefordshire cider. So, yeah, it's proper play when we notice this one. So, um, I'll have to forget all that and just see what the beer is like itself. So, beer in a glass. It's poured a, what are you going to call it? A dark golden colour, a light amber colour clear loads of carbonation as you'd expect from a cider so let's sniff it shall we it's got that sweet tangy crisp apple aroma It's got a thing in it that reminds me of, of good cider, so there's like, almost like two layers of cider aroma. Interesting, interesting. It smells good. It smells good. Right, let's taste it. Cheers, everybody. Okay, um, it's appley, which is always a good start. A good, uh, a good start. It's not got any of those fake flavors or artificial sweeteners. I might have, but it doesn't have those flavors in here. It tastes like a mix of apples. It tastes, um, yeah, that's got a sweet apple flavour in there. It tastes like a cider. It's quite sweet. Sweetness around the lips, so it's quite sweet from that perspective. But the back end, there's a little bit of a dryness on the back end.
On the aroma, it smelt like a crispy, tangy um, apple. And certainly on the um, on the taste of it, on the flavour of it, yeah, it's got a slightly tart, tangy finish to it. Like I said, it's quite dry. Things it calls itself medium dry, but for me it goes well past the medium into the uh, into the zone of quite dry. And surprisingly, unlike something like Frosty Jacks, it doesn't taste like eight point five percent. It really does. It tastes like it's probably a four or five percent um, cider. There's no hint of that being anything like an eight percent cider. Which I always think, in the case of cheap uh, lagers, there's something like some glucose, some sweetness hiding it, or it's well made. Um, and I'm not getting from this any artificial, um, you know, any glucose or anything like that. The, the strong, um, the strong um, artificial sweeteners, glucose. It's got sweeteners in it. It will have sweeteners in it, it always do. Um, oh no, it says free from artificial colours, sweeteners and flavours. So it's not got any artificial sweeteners whatsoever. So it is just a, a decent quality um, cider actually, which I am really surprised about, if I'm being brutally honest. I thought it wasn't going to taste anything quite as, as nice as it is. Certainly the quality is coming through on it, which is quite nice. Is it the uh, best side I've ever drank? Nope. Is it worth No, not the worst. Nope. Um, to be fair, the Frosted Jack is probably one of the worst ones ever. I'm happy to score a 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10 from Manage Bay Views. Have you guys had this? This has been out for years. It's the first time I've seen this like this in the bottle though. So I don't know if it's the first time they've hit like all the supermarkets or they hit the supermarkets are up here in up north um but yeah six and a half out of ten let me know what you guys think about this one won't you um if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up leave a comment drop a share all those little things uh that's it thanks for joining today really do appreciate your company as always until next time enjoy your beers cheers <laughs>